Welcome everybody. This is the Uncle Hippie and Shaggy Show. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're, we're glad to have you with us. Uh, this is my friend Shaggy. I'm Uncle Hippie. How's it going? And this guy uh, was in church and he decided he was going to walk outside. So he walked outside and he looked up and he saw a very colorful cloud. So he pulled his phone out and took a couple of photos of this colorful cloud. Uh, and he didn't realize it at the time, but he caught something in the photo that we can't explain. Uh, well, luckily he caught that glare or whatever. Yeah. On that first photo, and then he took the second picture because it, it's. Okay, so the reason I'm interested in UFOs is uh, when I was about nine or ten years old, um, the year was 1959, and it was just before school started that year because I remember my mom took me uh, shopping for school supplies that same morning. Well, that afternoon I was in my grandma's backyard and uh, I was, you know, goofing around in her yard and I looked up and I saw this unusual cloud uh, among normal clouds. Uh, most of them were just white puffy clouds floating by just like normal, but then there was this one that had a yellowish tint to it. And I said, you know, that's strange because it was not moving. The rest of them were. And uh, I watched it for a while and then I goofed around some more. It was probably a 10, 15 minute period. And I happened to glance back up and it had changed color. It was starting to turn, turn to a orange uh, color. Uh, but it was just a tent and gradually it got brighter and brighter orange and finally something shot out of the side of it uh, teardrop shaped silver very very fast happened extremely fast uh, had a sparkly effect like it had facets on it maybe uh, not sure uh, but ever since that day I've been really interested in UFOs, of course, because uh, since then I've not seen anything else, but uh, that one time in my life I have seen it. How about you, Shaq? Um, well, I've seen some weird stuff, but uh, um, I mean, I think it's kind of arrogant to assume that we're the only ones floating around in the universe and stuff. Uh, that are intelligent enough to talk about stuff like this anyway, um, let alone do stuff like space travel. But um, uh, I did have this one time where I was like outside my house smoking in my carport, just tobacco, not anything weird. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing hippie like. No, nothing hippie like. <laughs> but uh, I was sitting there and like it's really loud ar around my house, but. It's, just because of like nature stuff, because I live right next to a swamp, and so there's like a bunch of frogs and crickets and stuff, so you can always just hear stuff all the time. And then all of a sudden, just everything just went quiet. And then like I'm sitting there looking at our 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 uh, vehicle in the driveway, and this like light just scans across the thing, and it's like like I said, it's just quiet the whole time this is happening. And then like the light disappeared, and then everything came back to where you can hear everything again. And then I went out there, and there was like nothing up in the sky. The sky's like totally clear. That is highly odd. It's super weird. Yes, it is. And you weren't smoking nothing, huh? No, nothing special. <laughs> okay, then. Now that we've clarified that, excellent. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're going to take a, a closer look at, uh, at these photos. Uh, we'll go from there. We'll take a peek at that cloud now. Cool. And uh, there, 
If you look just above the colorful cloud there, you will see a little dot. He did not even notice it when he first took it. So he uh, he actually took two photos. Uh, we'll take a look at the second one. Okay, this is the second picture, which um, our friend we're going to call him Jay, uh, you know, like the movie. And uh, the, he said it was about two or three seconds in between the photos. And if you look, the white dot has moved behind the clouds, right in between the two uh, jet streams there, the two. Uh, condensation clouds and if we look carefully we'll see that there is a pink ring around it uh, which is weird uh, well some people uh, said well you know this may be a, a weather balloon and I said okay it, it, it's possible I suppose so I looked up weather balloons and uh, I decided I was going to see what one looked like, see what a picture looked like, and I did, and uh, that's what a weather balloon looks like. Uh, I guess you could say they're similar, and it's very possible, you know, I'm not going to well, say... both that, orbs. It, it's an orb, yeah. yeah. So, possibly, it could be. Uh, it, it's possible that it could be a weather balloon, but I honestly don't think so. Uh, so let, let's take a closer look at these and see if we can get a better picture going. Okay, so this is the weather balloon. And if you look carefully, you will see there are some dots on that weather balloon and they look like lights to me from coming from within now you know i said well you know it could be pixelation of the you know zoom it could be uh reflections or something so i decided to apply some filters and uh let's let's look at one of those filters the photo this time though it's going to have edge recognition if you look closely you will see there are edges where the lights are, where the windows are. So it's not pixelization. And if you look really closely, you'll see that they're not square, they're round. And uh, to me, that is uh, pretty definitive that, that that's not a weather balloon, I would not think. Uh, now, we're going to take a look at another filter. Okay, so this particular filter, it determines the difference between light and dark spaces. Uh, it con it's a very high contrast. You can even see in the cloud there are, there's multiple colors there that are concentrated. It does the same thing with the object. Uh, you can even see the power lines in the foreground. Uh, it's, it's like a negative, only it's, it's more intensified. And there are obviously three lights across the top of the, the, the object. There's one on the very top, and then there's an oddball one down on the uh, right lower portion. Yeah. So, what do you think, Shag? Is it? I mean, it's weird, like, because all the filters all, like, they should be, like, altering a lot of how the thing looks. So could it be a weather balloon in your opinion? It's like not, I mean, it maybe, but I don't I don't see the I don't understand how there would be like lights coming off of the thing. I mean I've they, maybe I, I, maybe it's a blimp coming from head on with head yeah, right. I mean I don't know man. You know yeah, it's, it's, it's but it's like in each filter it's 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 almost exactly the same. Yep. And so that's a little weird. I don't know. It's kind of you would think it would like shift over and like kind of be like the negative of if it of were an is, optical illusion. Is, yeah. If it were an optical illusion, it would change. It has not changed. So. Yeah. Okay. This one shows the actual light source. It it shows where the light is actually coming from. 
And if this were a balloon, there would be a reflection on one side and it would not be a light source on the other. If you look, the blue area around the object, that indicates that there is a light source there. So that tells me that the entire object glows. It's not Yeah, it looks like though it's it's got light coming from all around it. Exactly. Plus you've got the uh, same white dots there. Yeah, you still see those the little window like things. Exactly. Or they, they can even be like outer like lights or whatever. Exactly. Okay, gang, so we would really appreciate anybody's input. If you have any idea what this thing is, uh, if you could put, give us anything that would help us determine what this is, we would really appreciate it. Uh, so please put comments. Uh, we would really, really like to know what you think because we don't know. We'd like to have some answers. Maybe there's a scientist out there that can tell us something we don't know. So, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time. Sayonara. Hasta la vista. Tschüss. Yaman. <laughs>